It's the kind of excitement usually generated by K-pop stars or actors. But these girls are greeting no one more famous than their older schoolmates, arriving for the sunung, or college entrance exam. We think we should muster up more energy so that our senior classmates can have more energy. That's why we're cheering harder than students from other schools. Planes are rerouted so as not to disturb listening tests. Emergency services on standby to deliver latecomers. For parents who've spent small fortunes on tutors and countless hours coaxing their kids through daily study, there's nothing left to do but pray. My daughter studied hard. I felt bad watching her. I wondered whether kids need to go through this, but society is like this, so that she can get a good job and have a happy life. It's a bit painful. This is exam taking as extreme sport, and often at extreme cost, emotionally to the children, financially to their parents. Opting out of this kind of frenzy, this kind of mindset, is almost unheard of. Almost, but not entirely. A 90-minute drive from Seoul, you find a school day starting like few others. Morning assembly consists of tending the cabbages, soon to be made into homemade kimchi, a time for conversations rather than lectures, <laughs> and for sampling the season's first radish. This is Sanmel, a boarding school designed as an alternative to the high-pressure learning that so dominates education in this country. Normal high schools focus on college entrance. I wasn't going to achieve a good outcome in that exam. I was interested in reading and writing more than my peers. The school helped me to develop those things. But this type of education is very rare. In a country of 11,000 schools, just a few dozen define themselves as alternative. For the overwhelming majority of school children, study, often at private cram schools, goes on well into the night. South Korean children top lists of educational achievement and come last in terms of childhood happiness. It is not simply educational policy. Um, it is part of culture, deeply rooted uh, culture or values. Outside a Buddhist temple in Seoul, they've laid out extra mats for the parents who come and pray, some all day, while their children take the Sunung exam. In a land dominated by so-called education fever, alternative schools like Sanmol seem destined to remain isolated outposts. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Seoul.